What's good YouTube? It's your boy Doyle back with another video. In today's video, um, it's been a minute since I did a trade breakdown or like the end of the week recap. So that's what I'm going to do today. Um, obviously, I am back in Detroit. So excuse the background. You know what I'm saying? I'm not at home. But let's just get into it, man. So um, this week was very good. Not going to lie. I went five for one. Um, and the loss that I did take on Tuesday, it was like a very small loss because I cut the loss very quickly. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to break down the wins that I took this week and uh, hopefully y'all can get some value out of this. So, let's just get into it. So, the first trade I took on Monday was GU. It was a supply. But, honestly, this whole video should just be about market structure and just break of structure because most of the subs I took this week all had a break of structure. Like, all of them. So, um... Yeah, let's just get into it. So I like this setup because we had a supply that was sitting right here that was untapped. And it, as you can see, the shaded area started right here. It literally started right here. So that was 8 a.m. That's about time I wake up. So as soon as it touched into that zone, I'm like, okay, like I should be selling. And I like this setup because we was breaking structure to the downside. Like this low got broken. This low got broken, and this low got broken, coming from this area right here. So since I saw that they broke two structures, I'm like, okay, this can very much drop. And that's literally what they did. Um, I didn't catch this entire move. All I needed was um, my one-to-one, -one and I was good. So I got in literally right here. I, oh, I actually got in twice. I ain't gonna lie, I got in twice. So this move right here, I actually caught, caught it twice. It's kind of complicated, but basically, I took it aggressive and I got in at the break of the candle. So when it first got into the zone, I got in aggressive and I had my stop loss a little bit up here. I didn't have it at the top of the zone because um, I just didn't want to risk seven pips. So I had it like right here, so it was like six pips. And immediately, as soon as it started rejecting, um, I took profit, but it went back to the zone, which was right here. Let me put an arrow right here. It literally went back to the zone. And when it went back to the zone, I'm like, okay, I can just get in again because it never touched the one-to-one -one with the break of the candle. So since it never touched my one-to-one -one with the break of the candle, I got back in at the exact same location. But this time, I put my stop loss above this wick right here, above this wick lily right here. And literally, it just started breaking, and this candle right here hit my TP, and that was literally it. Like, that was just two trades in one, but I definitely was kind of risking a little bit more on this trade, which I don't know why, but... I was already in profit off of the um, the aggressive entry and the candlestick entry. So I wasn't really tripping about it. But uh, yeah, that's all I caught. I didn't even catch this entire move. So that's all I really needed. And that was um, on Monday. Uh, Tuesday. Tuesday was a very... Oh, actually, I, I caught two setups on Monday. My bad. So this is actually on Monday as well. And this trade was literally just a beauty. And I got in aggressive. So um, right here. We got aggressive selling coming down right here. We got a break of structure. Now, that's why I said this whole video should just be about break of structure because that was just everything this week. I'm going to be honest. So as soon as I saw a break of structure right here, it came back into that zone. And all I did was mark up my supply zone literally right here. It tapped right into it, and I got in aggressive. I didn't wait for it to break that candle. I just hopped straight in, and um, this bad boy was just dropping like crazy and i didn't have to catch the whole move like i'm not greedy in these markets like i'm in and out in and out i don't have to hold positions especially with the account size that i'm trading with i don't have to hold this entire move so really i got out around um a little bit under here it was like a one or two and i got out that was it I'm, i don't care what else happened this whole drop doesn't matter i got my money i'm going for the day so that was two wins on monday so um let's go to tuesday Let's go to Tuesday. Um, I think I was done trading. Uh, I think I was done trading GU and NAS for the rest of the week. I didn't trade it after that. So let's go to SPX. Now SPX on what was that Tuesday? Was very. It was very weird. So that's why I said you gotta know market structure. So right here, let's go to the line chart. It was dropping temporarily, but then this move right here broke structure to the upside. So right here, this got broken, and this got broken. 
So those two swing highs got broken. So I'm like, okay, let's go back to the count stick. They just left a gap on this demand. Let me take this. So I had my um my demand zone marked up just like this. And I was just looking to scout because this was going counter trend. So I already knew like this is not this probably not gonna go up for too long. So all I did was just uh took my buy right there on the break of that candle, had my stop loss underneath the zone right there. And all I wanted was a one-on-one. -on -one. And that's literally all they gave me. Literally, that's all they gave me. That's all I needed. I just took that. That was it. And then just reverse went against me. But I was already out anyway, so it really didn't even matter. So um that was just a quick scalp on Tuesday. Now let's fast forward to Thursday. Now, I'm not gonna lie. All USD is really been just throwing some great ass setups. Like this week was just mm, like I'm not gonna lie. So on Thursday, so I initially had my demand zone on all USD like this, but uh, I was really anticipating the candle break because, like, when it comes to like supply and demand zones that has taken so long for it to reach, I definitely want to uh, wait for a candle break. So um, yeah, this one, this zone right right here, it never broke the candle, so I never got in. And then um, once the the demand zone was invalid, I saw that we had a demand right up under it. So I'm like, okay, they could very much stop right here. So and that's literally what they did. And I love this candlestick right here. This candlestick right here definitely gave me everything that I needed to know. Right there, this one right here. That's all I need to know. I'm like, okay, yeah, they about to go up. So um, yeah, I hopped in that. And uh, I definitely uh, closed a little bit over one to one. I think it was close to one or two, if I'm not mistaken. But I definitely was holding this. It's like right here. And I got out. I ain't gonna lie. Like I, I don't need to catch everything. Like and, I, and I'm perfectly fine with that. But um, if you got in aggressive, you definitely was eating very nicely, very nicely. But um, yeah, that's why I kind of like um like the entries that I'll be taking, like far as the extra confirmation, because if you're getting in aggressive all the time, it's not gonna always work out like that. It's just not. Um, it happens to me. Like I get in aggressive, lose. And all I had to do was just wait, and I could have avoided that loss. So that's why I don't get in aggressive all the time. I like the candle breaks for sure. But uh, yeah, that was that was Thursday trade. I only took one trade. This was literally the only trade that I took on Thursday. Dub. Now Friday, which was yesterday. Yesterday was very very great. It was very simple. Um. Oh, and uh, let me go back to this real quick. This also have a breaker structure as well. So we have a swing high right here that got broken off of this move. Came right back to that demand. Boom, went straight up. So that's why I said, like, if you don't know market structure, if you can't see market structure being broken, bro, you don't really know which one is valid, which one is going to hit more far as uh, supply and demand. So you just got to know market structure to a key. Like, it's really, like, detrimental for sure. You have to know that. But, uh, okay, so right here, um, did we have some news this day? I think it was news at 830. So this this candle right here, this uh, this bullish candle, this green bullish candle right here, um, that that pushed news up and all all that it did was just create um, a new high so right here we got structure being broken again with this move with this push and all I did was just have my demand zone marked right here very simple and I waited for it to come back it came back into it and I got an aggressive so as soon as I got an aggressive I immediately like the first candle that touched it TP was just hit off off rip um, I held a little bit, but I didn't head it all the way to the top. So I got out around like right here, a little bit over one to one. But uh, other than that, like that was really it. This week was just market structure break was just bread and butter, just golden. I'm not gonna lie. Um, comment below if you had a good week or a bad week. This was probably one of the great weeks. I went five for one. Like I made a lot of money this week. I'm not gonna lie. Like it was really, really great. Um, August about to come to an end. Uh, this month was very weird. I'm gonna be honest, but uh, I can't. I don't have no complaints this week. Like zero complaints at all. Like it was doing what it was supposed to do. But um, that's all I got. Peace and love. I'm out.